So, Love Island After Sun, let's get into this. I know I'm late with the After Sun review, but I wanted to really gather my thoughts, gather myself properly, and come correct with energy. Let's get into this, because Amber's throwing shade. Hey guys, it's Rob Riley. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content, consistent and persistent injected. Now, Amber obviously is being interviewed by Laura, and I feel like Laura did ask the right questions, and discussing the fact that, you know, what are your thoughts on India and Dami, and both um, Amber and Ikenna had no idea that this was taking place, especially Amber, she was really bothered by Dami, why would you not tell me, you had so much time to tell me about this stuff, but you didn't, we were literally in bed snogging, and you were discussing about being in bed with India, it's wrong on Amber's behalf, and I feel sorry for her on that, in that regard, if that is what took place, and Dami was doing that with you, and then was trying to get her in bed also, I do think that that was something that was just unwarranted, and not needed. So I do agree with Amber on that behalf that she could have just been told that, but I guess everything was happening quite early and quickly that they just didn't really know when to. They decided to tell her in the morning and had no idea that she'd be dumped. Now, this is the issue that I have here. If the producers know and are recording this footage and know that there's going to have an intense conversation between parties about things that may or may not have happened or couples switching up or whatever, why would you dump her from the show? I don't understand. I don't think we need to see this conversation happening on After Sun. We need to see her having that conversation within the villa and the tension that it comes with it. It would have just been a great scene. We've never had a situation like that where, you know, couples switch or somebody goes somewhere else unexpectedly. And it would have been nice to have seen that television is properly on show so again I'm still frustrated that Amber was dumped from the show I don't think it was her time to go I think she had plenty more to give at least a week or more I think it would have been nice to see that and then especially with the tension brewing with Ekansu already them having some kind of conversation it would have been nice to have seen that progressed as well so again I still stand by the fact that production lost big time by dumping Amber quite quickly because there would have been a lot more entertainment scenes and dramatics that we would have seen that would have helped to carry on the season and make it even more better than it already is you know showing the stuff with Ekansu basically saying that you know she was playing a game and that a new guard basically come in and that you know she was doing this 24 hours a day and that was just too much for her to do saying that this was just a whole new person so yet again you know amber was not holding back when it comes to this interview and i think that when you have characters like that they should be remain in the competition because yes ekansu is doing great and i love ekansu and she's carrying the season but i don't just want one person to carry the season it needs to be an ensemble and i think that amber is definitely somebody who could have helped and i think that Gemma is also playing a part as well when she can when it comes to the dramatics and stuff like this. Ekansu's brother was there as well and everybody's, you know, fangirling over him saying he's a handsome guy. I feel like everybody needs to relax. The man is 17. Relax yourselves, number one. Number two, um, you know, he did say he hates all the guys. I think that was quite funny that he would just like, go off script and that was an answer that the girls or Laura did not expect and he just dislikes all of them and doesn't think that his sister is a match for any of those guys. So definitely an eventful um, after sun, uh, definitely for, you know, especially Amber Nikenna. It kind of looked fried as hell. My guy just was, you know, just laid back to the point where he didn't know what questions to answer. I feel like he's a very hard person to interview. You know, when it comes to questioning, he's not really thinking about stuff. He's not really present. My man is just somewhere else. Just wait for PC Billy. So I think it was a great um, episode. And I do think that, you know, Amber throwing shade would have been nice to have seen that in the villa, have that conversation with India and Dami. And I think that, you know, it's more on Dami's behalf to inform Amber than India. You know, I feel like, you know, India and Dami, um, India and Amber weren't besties. It was only like a week and a half, to be honest with you. Um, still in the early stages of the show. But still, I do think that warranted some kind of conversation from Dami if you were snogging up Amber in bed and then also trying to talk about getting India in bed. It's a bit like you're juggling. Um, and you know it could be a red flag for future behavior if you're moving like that would you not move like that with somebody else so food for thought guys very interesting let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content some of you guys asked me to review after sun and i just wasn't in the capacity the physical space to get those reviews out for you in a timely manner but i'm back in london scheduling is resuming to normal and i wanted to just get this out for you uh, my review for the episode tonight will be delayed as i will not be home for love island just want to keep that out there for you guys as well subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content and i will catch you guys soon for another video.